Uh, I know, I was thinking, you know, I, I wish there was a way to change autofocus settings to, you know, just in minute little ways, just to have it better function depending on the situation that you're shooting in. For example, like Nikon and Canon, uh, you know, in Sony they have a bunch of different autofocus options so you can make the autofocus, especially for AFC, more sensitive or less sensitive to tracking for Z-axis tracking and, you know, just various little tiny tweaks here and there that you can do. It'd be nice if Pentax would actually do that. Okay, we get it. Get it. We've, We've heard, heard the complaints. complaints. Kobe, are you listening? Are you listening? Are you listening? Go, Go download, download firmware, firmware 2.0 for the Pentax K3 Mark III. First, I had to download the uh, firmware update and put it on the SD card, so I'll start with that. But uh, just behind me here, all along this nice, pretty uh, smooth water, and not the smoothest, but should do, there are a lot of gulls that are hunting for fish. So it's a good opportunity to test out these new autofocus things and see if Pentax actually nailed it. Here we go. And I want to execute to version 2.0. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Come on, camera. Come on, camera. Do it, do it, do it. And it's done. Now let's get into the exciting stuff. So first things first, let's see what these new options actually are. Oh, let's go up, up. Autofocus with viewfinder. Uh, autofocus mode. Okay, well, I'll be doing continuous autofocus. Actually, let me change my uh, mode dial setting here. Okay, now let's see. Autofocus with viewfinder. Uh, IAFS, no. Autofocus mode. Continuous. Too bad there's no back. Okay, and action, AFC continuous, that has not changed. Okay, that hasn't changed. Tracking, here we go. Tracking. Let's see, we'll do type three, which is the new one. Focus sensitivity. Sets focus sensitivity for subjects. Emphasize stability. Emphasize trackability. Let's try trackability first and see what happens. Okay, and I'm using the uh, HD 55300 PLM. Let's try this out. Oh, oh, I didn't even see that. There's a blue heron right over here. I had no idea. Didn't even see that. Gotta grab that. Okay, I can already tell. Oh yeah, the autofocus is super sensitive. Crazy sensitive. But it's also pretty accurate. And now the heron's walking away. Slowly. Oh yeah. Autofocus is super, super sensitive now. Okay. Try expanded. Okay, so it is a little different. Okay. It actually appears that what it's doing is it's using the center point autofocus and then I guess as the initial targeting and then uh, once it actually acquires that it just uses all the surrounding autofocus points but it keeps it within the same depth it's interesting very interesting it's totally different Uh, 
I think this is supremely superior. <laughs> this is actually working awesome. Wow, this is totally different. totally different okay this is very very exciting stuff uh with that said the way it works with the various options from uh all, utmost trackability to stability really the difference between those options uh, from one for stability all the way up to five for trackability is how long will the camera wait for there to be a depth difference uh, with the subject uh, before it drives the lens? So if you want the absolute utmost in trackability for fast moving subjects, then you would want number five. Number one, I think is uh, sort of a cross between AFS and AFC. If you do have a slower moving subject and they will once in a while become static, but they may also move at any period of time, then you would want the stability. So that way, as your hands are moving and shaking, the lens isn't focusing for every millimeter of difference. So you'll have less missed shots uh, with more stability in regards to, uh, you know, slower moving subjects that may not be moving as erratically. Um, here's some more images that I took, uh, while I was out and yeah, this has completely and utterly transformed this camera from top to bottom. I am going to be doing another video looking at the enhanced crop mode. Uh, they apparently added more, uh, buffer depth to the crop modes. So I'll take a look at that and uh, I'm also going to be kind of going through all the various autofocus modes uh, just to kind of give you guys an idea as to the best use cases for all of them. But just from this preliminary outing, the difference between the stability and trackability is just how fast do you want the camera to react to every single millimeter of movement on your subject. If the subject isn't moving very much, then it will cause problems with missed focus because it, it actually is that sensitive and that's pretty much it if you like the video leave a like if you haven't already please do subscribe always helps out if you want to support the channel you know where that info is and if you have any questions or comments leave them down below and before i go i do want to say if you do have a k3 mark III or a k3 monochrome uh, k3 mark III monochrome absolutely don't even think about it just go get firmware 2.0 it has completely and utterly transformed this camera and that's it i'm gonna go you'll see me on my next video i'm out